Hello again, this is Humphrey with Router Gods, and in this video it's going to be a pretty basic video about setting up BGP. So what we have up here is two routers. We've got router A and router B. They're going to be in the same autonomous system, 65100. An autonomous system in BGP is uh, routers under your control. So this is your area. We'll pretend that you're a small ISP and these are your internal routers. Connected in between the two routers, it's a fast Ethernet link on network 192.168.254.0 slash 30. Router A is dot 1, router B is dot 2. So we already are booted up into our console. Go through our basic configuration. Don't forget to give it a host name. We'll do an alias. line con zero no exact timeout logging synchronous alright so that's our basic configuration for router A of course we're gonna configure the interface so interface fast 0 slash 0 give the IP address 192.168.254.1 of course you gotta give it a mask and a slash 30 is a 252, no shut. And that interface is going to come up. Now what I'd like to do before configuring any type of routing protocol, like BGP, EIGP, anything like that, is I want to get the interfaces running, the IP set up, and I want layer 2, at least layer 2, layer 3 connectivity. So it means I should be able to ping from router A to router B and router B to router A. So we've got router A set up, fast ethernet is up, we're going to go to router B. I'm going to move my telnet window over here, my putty window. Okay, so router B, set up the host name, no IP domain lookup, that's a very important command. We set up our alias, Go into line con zero, logging synchronous. Cool. All right, now we're going to configure the fast Ethernet interface. Dot two on this, on this one, two five five, two five five, two five five, two five two is a slash thirty. Do no shut. All right, so the interface come back up. We're on router B right now. We're going to end out of there and we're going to see if we can ping 192.168.254.1, which is the other side. And we have success. So we can ping one way. We're back on router A. End out of there. Ping the other way. And we're good. All right. So we have basic connectivity. Now it's time to set up BGP pretty easy it's router BGP and then the autonomous system number so 65100 oh probably should be in config T router BGP 65100 there we go see that you're now in BGP config mode you can see that by config dash router and we're gonna set up something called a neighbor and in this case a neighbor setting up neighbor is pretty easy it's neighbor you give it an IP address so the neighbor of router A is router B that's the IP address dot two at the end and you're gonna type in remote AS 65100 because your neighbor here is in 65100 if your neighbor was in another AS like 65200 then you'd put 65200 hit enter right there Okay, nothing's going to happen because you've configured the neighbor statement on one side. Now you need to configure it on the other side. I'm going to move our telnet or our putty window down there. Actually, we're going to minimize it so it's less confusing. Okay, we're on router B. Conf T, router BGP 65100. Put in a neighbor statement 192.168. 
remote AS65100. So you're on router B, your neighbor is the dot one address right there, remote AS65100. So this is known as internal BGP or IBGP because you're in the same autonomous system. Gonna hit enter there. And BGP is a little slow, but in a couple seconds, hopefully, you should see an adjacency. So here is a router message, gives you a time, says BGP adjacency change, and neighbor is up. And that's pretty much it for this video in setting up basic BGP between two routers. In the next video, we're going to set up some loopback addresses and see how the routes go into the BGP and regular IP routing table.